Yeah, so my name is Stephen Barnett. I'm a United States Navy veteran, a boat's mate, special warfare. And I'd like to say that um, it's an honor to be here on camera to speak to you. So my name is uh, Samuel Kwaku. I'm a Marine Corps infantry vet. Uh, I struggle with PTSD and suicide. I have a purpose today now because of PTSD Foundation of America and Camp Hope and the people like Vegas Barbecue. How would you explain Camp Hope? What is Camp Hope to you? Like I said, so we are trained to deploy and fight the enemy out there all the time. But as we come back to the States, they don't allow us to have a chance to fight the enemy within. So imagine that from every era of war. And now there's a place called Camp Hope, PTSD Foundation has really done its thing as far as giving us a, a safe place to come and really do some real work. Uh, game changer, it's a lifesaver. It's an opportunity to sit down and take a break for a combat veteran struggling with PTSD, for an opportunity to, to guide and help that individual save his life. Uh, it's a, a route back to not only God, but to changing your thinking, to learning to manage your stress and eliminate negative coping mechanisms, and to deal with day-to-day -day, uh, basis. At the same time as processing your combat traumas, and your childhood traumas, any things that you've struggled with throughout your life, not only in a combat combat zone. Those combat traumas is the beautiful concept of what we do because it brings us together, it's that commonality. But the holistic look at it is we, we, we take care of everything. Uh, it's saved my life and it's just a slowdown. It's a chance to stop, interpret what you're feeling, learn what emotions are and how to process those. Why is Camp Hope important to the veteran community? I think the biggest thing that people that are too privy to what, what goes on in, in our minds, uh, our, 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 our makeup is chemically different now because of the things we've been through. So but one of the biggest things that I deal with and, and other veterans like Mr. Stephen deals with is we believe that we're the only ones, that we're alone. I used to think I was the only one for, for 20 years of my life. Uh, it's just me, I'm the only one. I'm always going to be this way. It's not true. Camp Hope has allowed me to understand and see from my own eyes that, hey, there's other people that are just like me. Then they deserve, they showed me that I deserve a life worth living. And that was powerful to me. And then to me, to be able to see that in others, people that I finally learned to trust and stuff again, be that example for me, it creates a discipleship there. A discipleship that teaches others that you're not alone. Veterans are at the Camp Hope campus where you guys are right now. So we have a max capacity of 120. Right okay. now we are at approximately 113 residents. So uh, the reason that we do keep maybe four or five beds available at this moment uh, is because of the problem of we have guys knocking at the door because we have something that works. It's proven. Uh, we start to prioritize these levels now because we don't have the capacity. capacity. So the biggest factor for us and our biggest mission is knocking down these suicide rates amongst combat veterans. A lot of people throw around the, uh, the number 22 a day. That's a bunch of crap. It's 44 veterans a day before midnight tonight are going to take their own lives. The ones that, that went and risked, gave and sacrificed, I don't even know about the best word for it, sacrificed their own life for the ones in this country, the, the, this country that we're proud of, that we're, 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 we're We'd love to say, hey, I, I'm an American, I, I did this. These guys gave their life for that. And they're struggling with the unseen wounds of war. They're struggling with the wound. They, the, the wounds aren't, it's not shrapnel. It's nothing you can see. It's, it's, in, their, it's in their mind. It's in their spirits. That's where, where they're infected and, and hurt at the most. And, and for us to put a, num a dent on that number, even if it's one, one veteran a day that we can say, right? We have to... As Mrs. Barnett brought up, we're, we're a 501c nonprofit and we run off strictly donations. And everything, our program is completely free. Our mission is, is knocking that suicide rate down. I struggle with suicide myself. I have three attempts in my life. Um, but Camp Hope has given me the outlet and the safe space to work on that and process these horrible thoughts that I think on a daily basis. What's the biggest need that you're aware of at Camp Hope or that you guys see that people 
outside the organization could help with? Because there are a lot of numbers that show our veterans are not able to survive day to day. Not knowing we exist is the true problem. Mm -hmm. Asking people to come on board to help us in the small ways, donor meals, uh, being able to help us spread our mission is the true essence of what we really need help about. If you were able to come and tour the facility, you'll understand that it's a sacred ground doing a lot of healing. The ideal thing is to grow to a place where we can bring more veterans, because like that brother Sam had said, there's only room for 120, and there's people lined up. The biggest thing that we can ask is for awareness, to spread spread awareness to combat veterans, to, to families, to saying, hey, there's guys out there that's like your, your son, or like your husband, or like your brother. There's guys out there that have the same conditions and, and, and problems that you do, and they've learned to manage them. You're not the only one. I we definitely need help, and every everything is appreciated on every level. Can you guys talk about the, the impact of warrior groups? Um, you ready? Yeah. So being a part of the outreach team, we have what we call a warrior group. And it's basically, we have on-site locations here in Houston, three of them to be, one in Fort, Fort Bend County at the United Way Center. We have another one in the Woodlands, Texas, at the Methodist Church. And our third one is in Tomball, and it's at our outreach office. We also have Zoom links that are available. And what these um, warrior groups do is they give veterans who aren't able to make it to these meetings a chance to come online and, and share what they're going through in a safe place. And what I've experienced from the warrior groups is that you'll start to see guys come in and have a need for that space to to be able to work through life's difficulties, whether they be a resident of Camp Hope or whether they be a sergeant on the police department. We have guys who scale five uh, Fortune 500 companies that come in. We have guys who are living under a bridge that come in. But the camaraderie is there, the message is still the same, and the, the safe place for that to be in existence, it's underrated. So our warrior groups really have done a lot and it's basically a small replica of Camp Hope, but just in remote areas that we have, and via Zoom. That's what we have out there. The biggest benefits of a warrior group is our, our program of Camp Hope is six to eight months long. I understand that a lot of guys, they, they don't have time to just take a break in their lives and say, hey, for six months, I'm gonna go work on myself. That's a blessing. But what even more of a blessing is, is these hour long groups that we hold and say, hey, look, Come here and get some of that off your chest. Hey, hey come here and, and see who you can relate to. Hey, hey, come here and just, even if you're just having a bad day or you're building a new healthy routine about getting some of these things out of your mind and putting them in front of you so you know how much to look at and what to work with, what you can fact check, what you can uh, say, hey, this, this doesn't apply anymore to my life. It gives you that safe space to do that if you can attend six to nine months of a, of a lengthy program. How did your life change after the foundation? You know, I struggle with uh, PTSD every day and suicide, uh, addictions, alcoholism, all of it. Here's what my looks like. My life looks like now. Not only after the program, but after being a part of the PTSD Foundation for almost three years now, they've given me purpose. Uh, I have a family now. I have family back. I'm a full-time student now. It's, 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 it's gave me the chance to be a success seeker. And, and, and not a failure avoider. I used to, I struggled with being a perfectionist due to combat. I had to make decisions and see the outcomes of them. Some of those were real nasty. So it chose, it, it made my mind to be a perfectionist. So I was scared to take new risks. I didn't know the outcomes of it. But now I'm doing that. I'm, I'm 36 years old. All this is new to me. And it's freaking, you can tell I'm excited about it, right? Uh, I'm looking for a home right now. I have my career approval for a home. I'm gonna purchase my, I'm gonna be a homeowner. My mother asked me when I was like 13 years old. She was like, hey, son, what do you want to do when you grow up? I said, I want to be a homeowner. She was like, that's the first, that's the weirdest answer I ever heard, but that's a damn good one, right? <laughs> so I'm able to do that now. Uh, I'm able to uh, I'm able to look my parents in the eye and actually tell them thank you, and I appreciate them. Instead of 
trying to place blame on them of the things that happened to me that wasn't their fault. Um, I'm able to be a part of a discipleship that empowers brothers like Mr. Stephen Barnett here. <laughs> they don't know how the foundation has changed your life. What Capo has done to, for me is allow me to look in the mirror, dissect each one of my defects, and put them to bed, like burial. So as I walk now, I walk with my head up, my shoulders back. I can sit across the table from anybody. I have confidence in what I'm doing. I'm spiritually connected to the source without having to feel any guilt or shame. I'm able to connect with my daughter, who I had a hard time being a father to because of my addictions, because of my defects, because of my PTSD. Now. I have a relationship with her to where my ceiling is her step. And she's able to see the comeback in me. And for me, emotionally, I can honestly say that that is the best thing that I received from Camp Hope and the PTSD Foundation of America. And it's a life worth living now. And I have a purpose to be a catalyst of change for those who are similar to the journey that I have just come from. And I, and I take I take that to heart. And I'm proud to be who I am today. I'm proud. Thank you guys for telling us about Camp Hope.